The Ceiba, Guatemala's national tree, towers 40 meters into the sky. The Ceiba is just one of more than 300 species of tree in this nature preserve. Sierra del Lacandon National Park still contains virgin rainforest. But parts of it are being cleared to make room for fields, even where the rainforest is under official protection. About 15,000 people live in the national park. They raise livestock or plant corn and beans. Attempts have been made to drive them away, but they keep coming back. Now the director of the national park, Javier Marquez, has adopted a new strategy to deal with the problem. In the communities that are in the park, it's very difficult to, to make enforcement of the law. By, uh, we just uh, try to cooperate with the people that are living in the park. For example, Slash and Born, to make consciousness that they have to take away this practice. This is La Lucha, a village of 400 in close proximity to the rainforest. We're visiting Bartimeo Rodriguez Renault. He's one of the farmers cooperating with the park rangers. <laughs> the ranger confers with the farmers. Bartimeo and others in La Lucha have committed themselves to protecting the rainforest. Bartimeo has agreed not to touch an area of trees several hectares in size. To enable him to afford this, he receives financial compensation provided in part by the German Environment Ministry and the European Union. And the state has also agreed to let him continue using the land, even though it lies in the nature preserve. That gives him and his family a long-term future. We are trying to, do, to bring a balance between agriculture and forestry. This, this way we can, agriculture would be less area and forestry activities would be expanded. Reforestation is part of that program. Where once a mahogany tree had to make way for cornfields, now the farmers plant young mahogany and other native trees. For a few years they will grow side by side with the corn. Then the trees will displace the fields. I'm planting trees for the future of our children. And in 20 to 25 years, I'll be able to sell the wood for income. With the trees, I'm keeping nature alive here in the mountains. Planting trees is good for all of us and for the Earth's atmosphere. We can sense that it's warming up. I think that with these trees we're making a contribution to solving the climate problem. Here at the edge of the national park near the Mexican border, it's easy to see how urgent the need to reclaim the forest has become. For weeks, the Rio Usumacinta has been swollen and overflowing its banks. Because of the rainy season so intense in the highlands of Guatemala, it gets flooded. Much of the areas in Mexico are the same, flooded. So this is the impact of climate change. Some farmers have lost their fields, even in areas rarely threatened by floods in the past. We used to have floods occasionally, but there have been more and more in the last three years. The water used to only reach the reforestation areas about every 10 years.
Another reforestation area, but one not flooded yet. The farmers clear harmful vines and weeds from the trees. They know that restoring the rainforest is important, but so is keeping their families alive. We're farmers, and fortunately we can feed our families with agriculture. Unfortunately, that is very time-consuming. But sure, if we're able, we'll continue to reforest. These people are our uh, replicators in other communities. They are telling communities that you can work with the forest. Uh, this is uh, very little, but we hope in the future to, to more people be more consciousness about uh, keeping the rainforest. Many hectares of rainforest in the National Park are still lost every year and only a fraction is reforested. But it is hoped that others will follow the example of these farmers.